I guess the thumbs up is a really ubiquitous sign for endorsing something. Thumbs up appears everywhere from Roman Britain to Facebook kind of thing and everything in between. My name's David Trigley and I am a visual artist and I make drawings and paintings and sculpture and other things as well. I kind of make work about the experience of being a human being. I don't aim to convey anything in particular with my work. People say it's quite comic. The work that I made was based on a drawing that I'd made. I think it said something like, everything is good with these thumbs up gestures where the thumb was really long. When I proposed the piece, I think I wrote something about how the elongated thumb made it not just good, but really good. The thumb being the signifier of the quality. The piece is sort of a, I guess it's an endorsement of everything, which is kind of absurd. It can mean everything and nothing because it's not, it doesn't directly address anything in particular. It's just sort of a curious version of a very ubiquitous gesture. I guess what the work means and my intentions for it are one thing. It's a starting point of a conversation. But because it's a public artwork, people project meaning onto it. The nice thing about making work in the public space is the fact that you're not in control of its meaning or the way that it's perceived. And I think if you can embrace that, you can enjoy the conversation that the work promotes. I think most kind of conceptual artworks are always that exist as propositions. So it's like saying, how about this? And that's basically the start of a conversation. And it, it's partly the conversation that, that is the artwork, or is at least the evolving part of the artwork. I think it's always interesting to have some work that's part of a, a wider discussion, a wider subject, because it informs the work, it informs the way that I think about it. Being part of this particular triennial that has a really particular theme is valuable. I made an exhibition at the National Gallery of Victoria in 2014, so I had a, had a really great experience of being in that part of the world. And culturally, it's a really interesting place to be able to have a presence there and to create with a work that finds a home in a different place and continues its journey, both literally and in terms of understanding the work. I think it's a great opportunity and I'm, I'm really excited about it.